He's, uh, Roland Geiger uh, started, um, uh, had a dream, uh, I don't know if I can read that, uh, had a dream to build this boat. Um, his friend and neighbor, uh, Rufus Jefferson, um, also a Madeline Island resident, a boat builder, agreed to help and, and as his friends and family, some of um, everybody here is pitched in. Uh, they decided on a design by Howard Chappelle, um, it's called a Fisherman's Launch. Chappelle was, was the uh, marine architect and former curator of the maritime history at the Smithsonian Institution. Uh, Madeline Island oak was used uh, for the backbone and ribs with cedar planks. It's got a one-cylinder fab diesel engine for power. Um, Roland was able to build molds, the ribs, and the backbone. He installed three or four planks. Um, I've been corrected. It might be more than that, but I think it was about three or four. Uh, then he towed the unfinished boat to uh, North Carolina. Uh, about that time, Rufus Jefferson um, died in the waters right here at Maddow Island. And uh, soon after that, Roland got cancer and decided to sell the parts to Bob Tyson um, prior to his death. Um, Bob and Cedric uh, towed the parts back to Maddow Island, um, and they've they got some great stories about doing that. And uh, then using all my wits and some beer, I was able to strike a deal with Bob, and I sold the parts to Denver. Um, I've had many people to thank for my dreams come true. Um, the first person has left these pants if they exchange. Uh, yeah. Because I had to be dressed properly, and I don't wear any pants. They're perfect. Uh, Good looking. Thanks to Mrs. Geiger and Susan Geiger for coming. Um, I've had some tough moments building the boat, and uh, I like to think that Roland and Rufus every once in a while um, help me out. Um, thanks to Mike Caswell for inspiring me to, to build the boat um, by building his own boat. And then Mike also, uh, we sent emails back and forth, and he taught me about um, moaning chairs and, and things like that. They're all very important to both of us. Thanks to Bob Tyser who made a deal that uh, couldn't be refused. Uh, it, was, it was an easy one. I don't know if Bob is, but Tom. Um, right um, I remember him saying, Drew, all you have to do is put the planks on. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the tough stuff's all done. And we figured it took about a year and a half. And uh, so it's three and a half years later, we've got it here. And uh, it's never been in the water, and we're done. Um, I've been married for 25 years to Kim Butler. Woo! All right! <laughs> Building a boat is not the easiest thing to negotiate with a wife. Um, and it's, uh, she was, she pointed out that there's little or no water in Colorado almost immediately. <laughs> and, uh, and I told her that I was still determined, and from then on she was very positive and uh, supportive. And, uh, you know, to, uh, <laughs> to achieve a dream is really important. Yay! Yeah, let's let's take a toast to that. Toast to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Toast to love and the boat. Yeah, everybody should have a companion like that. This works for the fulfilling of your dreams. So, we're moving right along to another part of the service. We have a special guest. The very Reverend uh, Red Eldred. Uplifting words. Just a few, uh, I hope. Pastor Red. Father Red. Oh, thank you. Drew <laughs> uh, asked me to deliver the blessing for the launching of the boat. <laughs> yeah, two, two snickers, I agree with that. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the second team. The first team, Marina Lececki, was not available today, so hopefully I can. Someone has good a job. <laughs> 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 closer to religious than I am. My virtue is Brother David. <laughs> uh, I've always thought as a blessing is sort of a way of giving thanks. And you heard Drew talking about all the people who contributed to this project. And not the least, of course, with the drawlery. We got it all started. Literally was the backbone of the project, figuratively, and and in reality, I mean, he, he put the backbone together. And Rufus Jefferson, of course, is the, the chief instigator. If it wasn't for Rufus, probably uh, Raleigh wouldn't have been so motivated to do it. And and the fact that 
Raleigh wasn't able to work on the boat after Rufus died. It says a lot. It says a lot about Rufus' contribution. And of course, Bob. Who could be here? We have to be thankful for Bob for going out there to the Carolinas and picking the boat up and bringing it back here, bringing it back to where it started. And of course, to Drew for completing his run. <laughs> bringing it through full circle back to Colorado. What a, what a beautiful boat. And of course, uh, you have to be thankful to family and friends, too. Uh, uh, like Drew said, that we're tolerant of, of other people's dreams and help them along as best we can. Uh, for my part, I, I was giving my opinions freely to Drew, and luckily he didn't follow any of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should also thank Drew as a group. Uh, we all love uh, the water. We all love Lake Superior. And we're able to live vicariously through what Drew has done here. Uh, in really showing the ultimate uh, uh, display of love for water by building the boat. Here, here. Yeah, toast here, for that. Here, here. Yeah. Good Drew. <laughs> the water. The water. <laughs> the water. <laughs> water. <laughs> so my part in all this is, is just I'd like to read this poem for you. And, and for those of you who know Henry Wazer's Longfellow, you know he's kind of long-winded. And his poem's kind of gone forever. So hopefully he's not going to uh, mind too much if I edit it. A poem of his called The Building of the Ship. Build me straight, O worthy master, staunch and strong, a goodly vessel that shall laugh at all disaster and with wave and whirlwind wrestle. The merchant's word delighted the master heard, for his heart was in his work, and the heart giveth grace unto every heart. A quiet smile played round his lips as the eddies and dimples of the tide played round the bows of ships that steadily at anchor rise. And with a voice that was full of glee, he answered, Ere long we will launch a vessel as goodly and strong and staunch as ever weathered a wintry sea. And at length has come the bridal day of beauty and of strength. Today the vessel shall be launched. With fleecy clouds the sky is blanched and o'er the bay slowly in all his splendors right the great sun rises to the whole sight. Then the master, with a gesture of command, waved his hand, and at a word loud and sudden there was heard all around them and below hammers blow on blow, knocking away the shores and spurs, and see, she stirs, she starts, she moves, she seems to feel the thrill of life along her keel, and, burning with her foot the ground, with one exulting, joyous bound, she leaps it into the ocean's arms. And how beautiful she is, how fair she lies within those arms that press her form with many a soft caress of tenderness and watchful care. Sail forth into the sea, O ship, through wind and wave, right onward steer, and save from all adversity upon that bosom of the sea thy coming and thy going be. For gentleness and love and trust prevail o'er angry wave and gust, and in the wreck of noble lives something immortal still survives. We know what master laid thy keel, what workman wrought thy ribs of steel. Who made each mast of sail and rope? What anvil's frame, what canvas feet, and what a forge and what a heap of shaky anchors of thy hope. Fear not each sudden sound and shock. This is of the wave and not the rock. Tis but the flapping of the sail and not a rent made by the gale. In spite of rock and tempest roar, in spite of false lights on the shore, sail on, nor fear to breast the sea. Our hearts, our hopes are all with thee. Our hearts, our hopes, our prayers, our tears, our faith triumphant o'er our fears are all with thee, are all with thee. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Amen. That was beautiful, Ren. Amen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now my uh, my wife, who I... Uh, 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 Closer to God than I am. Um, I'm going to say something more formal about the uh, boat. But I just want to offer a short blessing so if you'll join me. Dear God, we command to your gracious care the vessel known as Megan B. May your blessing be on this good craft and all who sail in her. Bear on with her faithful to the end and deliver her from harm upon the water. Amen. 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 Thank you. It's time.
time? I think it's time. It looks it's like it's Uh-oh. See you next. put it on YouTube. in the water in a second here. Jeez! And I spent the last four years I'm going to grab and I'm going to schedule and bought all the film cameras I could buy. Okay. 